we're gonna check some squish. Hey, what's up guys? Um, so I got some great news. Uh, my buddy Mike, thank you again Mike, saved the day and uh, was able to send me some wrist pins that were the right length. And um, so I've got those already installed. I've got everything basically in the position where it would have been or the situation it would have been for the last video before I had to rip it all apart. For today, um, I've got some solder placed on top of the piston in four corners. And uh, the, the uh, idea here is to um, swing the crank around and get the piston to come up and collide, well, the solder to collide with the bottom of the head and to check squish area. If you wanna know more about it, um, check this video here from Hammer Performance. Um, they also go over the torque uh, scenario or how you, the torque sequence, sorry, not scenario, um, for the Cometic gaskets, which is nothing like what you would do with the stock Buell gaskets. Hopefully, my setup with the base gasket and the um, head gasket, I'm within that uh, threshold, anywhere from roughly 30 thousandths to uh, roughly 40 thousandths, somewhere in that vicinity. And of course, I'm basing all this off of hammer performances, and they give you quite a bit of wiggle room. If you're too far on the low end, like say I'm at 20 thousandths of squish, um, I'm likely on a street bike to have some pretty pretty bad issues um, with with that particular setup. I won't go into that. Just check out Hammer's video. They, they go into full detail on that whole thing. On the other end, um, I think you more, more or less run into tuning issues where you don't have enough compression and, and things like that. And I honestly don't remember what the scenario was with the being too too big on the squish area. I have a feeling I'm gonna be really close. Um, I should be right at, or very close to where I should, uh, I'm supposed to be. Um, that's the hope. I still will have to pull everything apart because um, I was talking to Chad who did all the machine work on the heads and he gave me some great pointers. Um, with the uh, addition of you know, don't worry about putting sealant on the base gasket and things like that. He said they won't leak. And with the Cometic uh, base gaskets, I should not have that issue. There is a spot in the case where it is slightly off. You guys saw that in, in the last video. I'll post it here. Um, so I'm, I am going to put it there, but I'm not going to put it anywhere else, you know, with the return um, holes and everything like that. So... I think we're at a spot now where we can go ahead and do this torque sequence. Um, and uh, I won't belabor you with how that looks. Um, so we'll just get right into it. And uh, we'll come back when I'm ready to swing everything around and disassemble and check squish. Okay guys, here we are. So I am a little nervous. Uh, there's a lot of anticipation, so bear with me. So I'm gonna, I've got to swing the engine around and the astute among you will notice that I'm swinging this direction. That is because my um, pulley is not torqued yet and um, it's a le uh, left-handed thread. Yeah, left-handed thread. So I'm going, in reverse, uh, but it's fine. It's still gonna make contact, so.
Okay, guys, uh, <laughs> that was nerve wracking, but it, um, it made the noise when it came up. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove the head and we'll come back when I've got access to everything. Hopefully we got a good squish and this is pretty much a done deal. Let's hope, you know, there's always hope, so. All right, guys, so here it goes, moment of truth. Hey, I got a good squish. All four corners, all right, awesome. So let's check this out. Everybody got their fingers crossed? And I'm gonna have to uh, kind of finagle things around. Let me uh, let me transfer one of these over here to bring the piston up so I have easier access to it. Snug, not tight, not hand tight. Snug. All right, let me bring this around real quick. So that's what I'm seeing. You can see all four corners got mushed down and you can see the areas that contacted on the head. You can see the smudge that was left at all four corners. Of course, all that'll clean up. So let's pull these off. And uh, according to Hammer, what you do is you use your calipers, good measurement on it, and um, do the basic, the, the, the average of all four. So let me go grab my calipers real quick. All right, let's check this first one real quick. Let's see where we're at. Okay, good. Uh, 37. This one's a little bit bigger at, let's see if I can get in on the right spot. 48 on that one, so a little bit bigger. And that's on this end over here that I'm talking about. This one looks about the same. That one's 49. And that one is 38. So we're a little tighter on this end and a little looser on that one. So guys this is kind of a, a wrap up I don't want to leave you in suspense uh, let me tell you something about Chad Hart at XLXB horsepower if you're trying to build an engine look there there's there, there's hammer performance and I've bought parts from those guys and, and I'm sure I, you know in dealing with them they'd be great but let me tell you something about Chad that dude responds like I sent the email and he immediately responded like within 10 seconds the great news is we're golden. So next video, I'm going to have this thing fully buttoned up. I'm not going to put you guys through me pulling everything apart and putting the, uh, the circlips and everything on. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. Just know that it's going to be done. So the next time you see this engine, the heads will be on it. Most likely the intake will be on it and maybe a few other things. And then we're going to switch over to doing some body work and some paint. So y'all, I'm stoked. Like, I'm, I'm sure you can sense it in my voice. So again, as always, <laughs> peace out and keep it between the ditches.